guys are looking good. We're not quite there. We're trying to get as high as possible, so just hang in there with us. Back up. Keep coming this way. The parched Nazca Plain of Peru and Chile preserves an ancient way of art that defies explanation. 3,000 years ago, desert dwellers etched hundreds of miles of lines upon the Earth's surface, forming images and shapes that could only be understood from a sky perspective. Their artistic mystery inspired Oregon conceptual artist Daniel Dancer to create a modern counterpart, which he calls Art for the Sky. Human participants, recycled clothing, leaves, and other natural materials are his paint. Dancer works with schools and communities across the country to create enchanting, gigantic, living paintings, artworks of endangered species and culturally important symbols, which only make sense when seen from the sky. Today, each Art for the Sky residency teaches students and teachers about the power in collaborating with others to create something magnificent. Applying skills that normally lie fallow on a two-dimensional page in a textbook, students develop an intimate acquaintance with the image as it slowly comes into being. As a single drop of paint, each participant bodily experiences how nature works as an interdependent whole and what it feels like to be an integral part of something much bigger than oneself. And sometimes the parts explode, like the first grade hot lava classes in this 1,000 participant version of Oregon's Mount Hood volcano. In mountains, in hummingbirds, in petroglyphs, children come together in unity, community, to create something grand, eloquently illustrating that the whole is far greater than the sum of its parts.